Ever feel like you're playing Tetris with your knees when you fly economy? You're not alone. We've all been there, contorting ourselves into those tiny seats, praying our knees don't touch the seat back in front of us. But just how much space are we really working with here? Buckle up, fellow travelers, as we dive into the wonderful world of economy seating on American Airlines Delta and JetBlue. Airline seats aren't exactly known for their spaciousness, but some airlines do a better job than others at providing a modicum of comfort. In this economy class showdown, we'll compare three major American carriers, American Airlines, Delta Airlines, and JetBlue Airways. Think of it as choosing a new sofa for your living room. You want something comfortable for the long haul, but you also don't want to break the bank. Let's start with American Airlines, an airline that's often in the news, but rarely for its spacious seating. With a seat pitch of 30 to 31 inches on most of their planes, you might find yourself getting well acquainted with your neighbor's elbows. Imagine trying to relax in a love seat designed for one and a half people. That's the kind of coziness we're talking about here. The seat width on American Airlines planes hovers around 17 to 18 inches, which can feel a bit snug. It's manageable for shorter flights, but for longer journeys, you might find yourself longing for the spaciousness of a park bench. American Airlines does offer options for those seeking a little extra wiggle room, such as preferred seats and main cabin extra. Think of it as upgrading from that cramped love seat to a slightly more spacious armchair. You might not be sprawled out, but at least you'll have a bit more breathing room. Next up, we have Delta Airlines, an airline that often gets points for consistency and a slightly more comfortable economy experience. Delta's economy seats generally offer a bit more breathing room than American Airlines with a seat pitch of 31 to 32 inches on most of their fleet. It's not exactly first-class legroom, but it's a noticeable difference, especially on longer flights. Delta's economy seats are on par with American Airlines, measuring around 17 to 18 inches wide. Delta, like American Airlines, offers options for those seeking more spacious digs. Their Comfort Plus seats come with extra legroom, early boarding privileges, and dedicated overhead bin space. For those who value comfort and convenience, Comfort Plus might be a worthwhile investment, especially on longer flights. Finally, we come to JetBlue Airways, an airline that often punches above its weight class when it comes to passenger comfort. With a standard seat pitch of 32 to 33 inches, JetBlue takes the crown for the most generous legroom among the three airlines we're comparing. JetBlue's seats are also slightly wider than those on American and Delta, measuring around 18.25 inches. The extra width and legroom make JetBlue's economy seats feel more like a comfortable couch than a cramped airplane seat. JetBlue's commitment to passenger comfort doesn't stop there. They also offer even more space seats, which provide even more legroom, early boarding, and other perks. It's like upgrading from that spacious sectional sofa to a luxurious king-size bed. You'll have all the space you could ever need to relax and enjoy your flight. So there you have it, a quick rundown of the good, the bad, and the cramped of economy seating on three major American airlines. While none of these airlines will mistake their economy cabins for first-class suites, there are noticeable differences in comfort levels. JetBlue emerges as the winner in the legroom department, with Delta offering a slight improvement over American. Ultimately, the best airline for you will depend on your individual needs and priorities. If you're willing to shell out a few extra bucks for a bit more legroom, Delta's Comfort Plus or JetBlue's even more space seats are worth considering. Until the day we all fly in pods with lie flat beds, we'll keep fighting for those precious inches of legroom and dreaming of a world where flying doesn't feel like a game of human Tetris.